What's going on, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood, Philly, and I am joined today by one of the biggest legends in the indoor game, folks. A massive presence in the back line for the Ontario Fury and one of the great shock blockers currently in the league. One half of the terrifying Tayu brothers. We are talking to none other than Uzi Tayu. Welcome on the show today, Uzi Tayu. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Just wanted to say congrats. I know how badly you guys wanted to get the number one seed, but you did finish the season strong and you did get to pick your next opponent. Yeah, um, I think, you know, I, I mean, we were a bit disappointed with how, you know, we got seeded. You know, it wasn't, we weren't worried about getting the first or the second seed. It was just, you know, the game, the, the fashion in which we lost the game is what we were disappointed with. Uh, we knew the seed, the, the seed was in, in play, but it wasn't, you know, we weren't playing to be, you know, number one. We wanted to play a good game as we always go into every game. So, and then that didn't happen. So, but we're okay with whatever we get. You know, we, uh, it's the playoff. You have to play, you have to play the best to be, to be, to be the best. So that's, that's all it is. You said it to be the man, you got to beat the man and whoever that is that gets thrown in front of you. I mean, that's, that's the man as far as your path in this, in this playoff is concerned. Now, what are your thoughts on how this season turned out for the Fury? And what are your thoughts on how it turned out for the league in general? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I think, you know, it was, first of all, great for, you know, some of the owners that, um, you know, were, were for it. You know, they worked extremely hard for us to have a season. You know, I think that was the effort is very is was commendable, and the way it turned out was great because you know we find new ways to um, attract um, attention to all sports, and um, so I think that was good. You know, so kudos to all the owners that you know sacrificed for us to play this year. And as far as our team. Um, you know, we, we made some additions, you know, we knew what we had last year. We thought we were okay. We made some additions. Um, you know, I think it turned out very, very, very good. You know, Clayson stepped up big uh, for me. I think he's probably the player of the year for us, you know, team, but, um, you know, there's, 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 there's a long season to go. So we see what happened forward, moving forward. Yeah, he had an impressive game the last outing, 20 saves. I mean, he was tested left and right. He he played an outstanding game. You're right about that. Um, the team you're about to face in the playoffs is the only team that you haven't played yet as far as the teams that are that are playing the season, the Dallas Sidekicks. How do you feel about this matchup heading into the opening rounds? Like I said, this is the playoffs. You know, we it doesn't matter what the record of a team. I know a lot of people are talking about, oh, we could Dallas and it should be an easy matchup. No, there's nothing. We're not going to this game thinking it's an easy matchup. It's the playoff. Every Anyone can beat anybody, you know, on any given day. So we're going to prepare, you know, as we're going to go. The mentality we're going to have going into the playoff is we're going to, we have to win every game. We have to be our best, the best version of ourselves every single game. And, um, you know, whatever happens, happens there. But that's that's the goal. Mm -hmm. um, I think they. I I think from the game I've watched, they they are a good team. You know, unfortunately their record hasn't shown much. But um, with that being said, um, you know we haven't played them all all season. It's going to be the first time, so we just have to be get ready for what they're going to throw at us. Sure. So, which team, if any team, which team do you want to face and beat badly? And tell us why that might be the Florida Tropics. <laughs> um well <laughs> we want to beat we want to beat every team so we every time we step on the field we want to be don't get me wrong we want to beat anybody we play you know because i mean that's the part of being competitive we want to beat anybody we play um does it make a difference when we beat i don't know to me no i i want to you know we beat the, the trial we lost to them two times so if if that's what um you know, if that's what you allude to, yeah, we lost to them two times and, uh, you know, a rematch or a revenge, if you want to call it that, you know, it's always, it's always sweet. So, <laughs> How would you say this current Fury team compares to the one from last season? I, I want to say somewhat the same, but with, you know, more tips on, on our shoulders, you know, because 
you know, we knew, we kind of knew the struggle that we went to in the beginning of the year, knowing how good we were from get go and how long it took us to put it together. So coming back, we basically, you know, wanted to put out, you know, some of the, you know, the, I, I don't want to say mistakes, but, you know, some of the lessons we've learned, you know, from the time when we, we were struggling. Cause I mean, you remember we used to play games and then we would, we were playing well and then we were up and lose games or we were tying the game and lose over time or tie and lose and shoot out. So all that, you know, I think it made us, you know, mentally, it gave us a different approach going to game mentally, if that makes sense. And, um, you know, we just, we was at the end of the season last year, we started to gel very well. And, um, you know, moving forward, I think, uh, you know, we just picked up where we left off and then the pieces that we added, you know, the Leon, uh, Palmer, and then Clinton stepping up, you know, they just, everyone just fit in, you know, it was, just, it was just a perfect, you know, match. So I have to ask this. How has the passing of Joseph, the jet Kyrell weighed in on the team this season? Um, it's been, you know, I mean, it's been heavy, you know, I think um, from there, you know, most of us, we, um, you know, we started to just, realized that, you know, nothing is, you know, life is not guaranteed and uh, that we shouldn't, you know, take for granted, you know, the opportunities that we get to be here. But and I'm also, you know, losing, you know, a brother, a teammate. And, um, you know, it was it was hard, honestly. It was hard. And, I, and if something is still hard up to this day. You know, sometimes we, we're in the locker rooms and, um, and, um um yeah it was hard it was just hard yeah i um the tribute that he's gotten this season the the number 91 on the warm-ups the fact that he's had the, the locker his space in the locker the fact that his jersey hangs behind you guys on the bench the fact that his name still actually appears on the the media roster i I mean, we're, we're going to keep his spirit alive. He's always going to be there. Maybe gone, but not forgotten. Still a big part of this team. And yeah, I just wanted to obviously bring bring his name up. Uh, rest in peace, Joseph Kyrell. Moving on, without fans in the stands, how much of an advantage do you feel that playing Toyota in, uh, playing in Toyota Arena is going to give you in this first round matchup against the sidekicks? I think, uh, you know, obviously it's always good to be at home. You know, so... And, um, you know, it gives you, you know, you have this more confidence, you know, because we have a routine, you know, we come in, you know, we always want to protect the home advantage, you know, and always um, um, play our best, you know, even even though we don't have fans, you know, it's our house, you know, and then we play for ourselves and then, and then and we play for our fans, you know, because, I mean, this weekend we had fans coming out to arena and, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank all the fans you know, all fans here in Ontario that have supported us, you know, even in this, you know, heavy times. And then some of them that came out and waited for us outside of the arena, you know, that was very warm um, and to see. So thank you so much. And um, we can't wait to see you guys in the arena soon. We, uh, we definitely appreciate and support the efforts. And yeah, I will say this from a biased perspective. I am a Fury supporter. And just being able to watch you guys play this season ha has been a joy and has definitely helped ease some of the stress that COVID and the pandemic has had. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to you and the Fury, of course, and for allowing me to be part of this family and embracing me and Panda and Jonathan. We really appreciate that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I asked Frank this when we interviewed him on Striking Fury, and the one thing he said was he loves having you around because you are a great cook. What's the best dish that Uzi Tayu prepares? Wait, give me a second. Risotto, I say. Well, love me some risotto. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. So I appreciate your time today. Finally, do you have any last words or thoughts you'd like to leave the audience with before we let you go? Um, I just, you know, I, I want to, you know, thank all the fans of arena soccer. You know, this is a great sport. I um, I think that, you know, alongside the owners and, and the other players in the league, you know, it's always possible to push our game. And um, I think for the fans of the community, they've done a great job. We want them to stay involved and, uh, you know, to keep supporting the sport. 
Well said. Well, Uzi, again, we really appreciate your time today. You know, best of luck to you and the Fury. Uh, obviously, I'm a Fury supporter, so I'm going to be biased. Rise with Fury. You know, we hope you bring home that trophy to Ontario. We hope you bring it to the Inland Empire. And lots of luck and all the best going forward this season. All right. Thank you so much. You guys have done a great job. Thank you. As have you. <laughs> much appreciated.